Yeah, good. I think we were lucky in the, the fact that we got here nice and early. We've, we've had a full week's training, um, or going to have a full week's training, so we got to travel out of the way over the weekend and we were, we were ready to kick on with things on Monday. Had a really great day training yesterday, um, so we're confident and we're, we're looking forward to Saturday. Yeah, it's a bit different when you tour. It's, it's always good fun, it's a good laugh, and the boys always get a lot closer. Um, we spend a lot of time with each other, which can be good and bad, for <laughs> depending on who, you, who you're with. Um, but uh, I'm rooming with Charlie at the minute, Charlie Shield, which is good. We get along really well. We're similar ages, so it's dead easy. Um, uh, I think there'd be a, maybe a few boys who are complaining with their roommates, but other than that, no, it's, it's a great laugh. We get to spend some quality time with each other, uh, and we get to do things that we don't necessarily get to do at home. You know, going out for dinner as a team. Um, just stuff like that after training is really nice to do, especially in a, an amazing city like this. Straight up to blue, straight up to blue. Yeah, I think they've been impressive, you know. They've got a big physical pack and an expansive and exciting back line and they've played some great rugby, so, um, and obviously deserved of that second place finish in the table. Um, but we're really, really excited to, to go up against them here in Cape Town and put our game on them and. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a great game of rugby. It's been different, I think. They obviously probably struggled to get a bit of form and uh, at the start of the year coming over to, to the UK and playing playing the teams, uh, playing the Northern Hemisphere teams. But you've seen, as I think, as teams have gone out here in South Africa, that that's when they've crept up the table and it's probably, it's probably surprised us a little bit. Um, but it's... It's not a shock at the same time. Like they're the quality outfits. They're they're full of great players, and um, they're they like they play an exciting brand of rugby. So um, yeah, it's not not a surprise to see to see the teams up in the top 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 of the table there. Yeah. I think it's I think it's been a great a great step forward and and everything that we want to do and achieve. And I think we spoke about from the start that we want to do something special this year. And we've put ourselves in the position to do that and we're still in a position to do that so I think in that that respect it's been amazing and I, I know we'll be we'll look back at certain games certain areas of our game and maybe we'll be slightly frustrated but we still have we've still got time to do that and um, each week every single week throughout the season is we're on week 39 40 now we're getting better and we're getting towards that goal of achieving something special um, so come the weekend we can get one step closer and the idea, we don't want to look too far ahead, but the idea of having a home semi-final is, is, is of course something special, so um, we're looking forward to that. Yeah, no, it's, it's been amazing and to get that first cap was absolutely unbelievable and then to follow on and, and get a couple more and then and be in a Six Nations camp and get be involved in that was just like a dream come true. So. Um, it's it's great to be able to experience that, learn from that environment as well, and the people around me there, and take that back in, into Edinburgh and, and again try and improve. Um, I think that's an environment that, that Mike's created here is that everyone wants to get better and everyone wants to help each other get better. Um, so it's a great place to be, a great place to learn, and a great place to grow as a young young player. And I remember being told um, that there wasn't really much there on the table. Um, in terms of that and that pro rugby wasn't maybe for me and to look back on that now and to say that you know I'm uh, growing into the end rugby team I've got five cats to my name and hopefully get the opportunity to to have more is uh, is amazing um, so it's yeah it's funny to look back now and, and think that this we're here in a quarter uh, um, quarter final of uh, the league so yeah <laughs> He's been great, you know, I think he's such a great person to sit down and have a chat to about your game, about his game, about about rugby as a second role in general uh, and just the life of being a professional rugby player. I think he, he's very professional in the way he goes about his work and I think this season especially he's been outstanding for us. Um, the consistency that he manages to bring to his game week in, week out, and his leadership is something that I definitely look up to and um, hope to bring to my game as I grow uh, grow older. So he's been a huge influence on me and he, he still is every, um, every time we go out in the training park. So yeah, it's, I mean, 
it's a, a outstanding career today, and he's, he's, he's he himself still still admits he's still getting better as well. So, if I can get anywhere near that, I think I'll be extremely happy.